I knew that this was an important event to Molly tonight when I walked in and saw that she had combed her hair. They didn't hold anything back, whether it was calling out racism, calling out sexism, and they did it in a way that was incredibly effective. As you know, Texas tends to be behind the cultural curve. And uh, this was in the early 70s, and the women's movement had not quite made it to the shores of the great state. And uh, there was a dinner party in Westlake Hills. Uh, mm -hmm. And our friend Tony Corio, who is a wonderful man but a terrible sexist, um, got to talking about how driving home from work that evening, he passed a young lady on the street who had the most remarkable set of jugs he, Tony Corio, had ever witnessed in all his long years of jug watching. <laughs> and he described in great detail how they wiggled and jiggled and bounced and jounced. And indeed, the whole sight had been so fascinating to Tony that he drove around the block, took a second, gander and again described how they wiggled and jiggled and bounced and jounced. And, uh, you women will remember that in those days we had a wonderful social skill when men introduced topics like that in a conversation. We would gaze off into the middle distance, pretending not to be there. And uh, all the women at the table were gazing off in the middle distance, pretending not to be there, when suddenly Ann Richards said in clarion tones, Well, girls, have you seen any good dicks lately? Thank <laughs> you.